Hi, this is Tony, and we're back on the bench. And this afternoon, I wanted to do a quick video and discuss a, a little topic here that comes up from time to time. I want to talk about if reels have the same model number, does it actually mean that they have all the same parts and, and whatnot? Uh, well, the answer is simple. Not all the time. Not necessarily. Uh, so here we're looking at a schematic diagram for a pen... 113H. This is also for the HL and the HLW model. And, uh, you know, it gives you a basic layout. All the parts are listed here and whatnot, you know, with their appropriate numbers and prices and all that kind of stuff. Okay. But not all, uh, you know, designs stay the same forever necessarily. So at a certain point, uh, Penn did make some design changes with this model. And uh, most of it primarily pertained to the uh, to the drag stack, talking about the 113H model specifically. So here we're looking at a schematic for the same reel, 113H 40 Special. Okay, and this comes from MysticParts.com, and they actually give you all the extra notes. Uh, that you need to identify whether or not you've got an older generation or a newer generation. You can see it says 1989 version, so that indicates that, you know, it's that, you know, that's where the design change happened, basically. So they went from the old drag stack system, which they indicate down here, and it also did require some additional parts. That you see up here and it talks about how the older reels do not have you know certain pieces okay and then they show you the newer drag stack here so the whole point of this is just to show you that yes design changes can and do happen and you know most reel manufacturers do you know do that you know at one point or another they either do it to uh, to improve uh, the product or uh, they do it for other reasons. You know, in this case, you know, it's a little unfortunate because the older system for this particular reel was nice because you could actually remove the drag stack. Uh, and I just did a video uh, talking about that specific subject. You know, you could actually remove the drag stack, you know, on the water. Uh, all you needed was, you know, your reel wrench that came with the reel and you know maybe a small screwdriver and you could drag it you know change out this drag kit right there on the spot you know but you know these days a lot of people you know they'll just bring a spare reel with them you know but i just wanted to show the differences uh between that you know in case you know you happen to be working on these reels or you have a couple of them and you're wondering why they have different you know parts or they just, they look a little different in, you know, that area. Well, this is why. So I hope that's helpful. And thanks again for watching. This is Tony with Back on the Bench. If you like the video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, please make sure you do subscribe. Hit the notification button. That way you will be getting all the updates as to when there are new videos coming out. And we'll be seeing you then.